Just out of Chicopee Ski Hill for their end of season snowcross races. We're going to check out a new sport called side by side racing. Right now, they got some kids in classification of snowmobiles. We are in weather appropriate outfits because it was raining on March 25th. Got my handy guide dog Grom, and it's not going to be too happy about working here in the rain. So there they go going up, up the hill. Got a bunch of Baja jumps. I think those are kids. We'll find out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I always wonder how come I go to Ski Hill and they're always playing Hell's Bells. ACDC, seems appropriate when I was blind. Woo, go Gromit. Here we are at the bar, funny enough. Not only do I not know what I'm looking at, I have no idea what we're looking at. I don't know when the races start, but it looks like we're in between laps here. Well, we'll get something going here momentarily. Crow's coming up at 3.30, heat number one. It's a waterfront property here outside of Chicopee in the parking lot. A little fancier than I would have expected a ski hall. That's a pepperoncini, a pickle, and a Caesar. It's just kind of good, but 10 bucks a drink. Unbelievable. Crap! I just missed the beginning of the race. And they were lined up there. I had no idea. This is heat number two getting lined up. into the fog into the clouds here at Chickabee 160 feet of vertical and this should be the big finish here No, 
not just for the boys. You got the pro-am women up next. Only three women in the pro division here. The final. Talking you're hearing is that Rob Zoss being pumped up into the exhaust chamber, trying to heat up that exhaust more than anything. Get that fuel and it'll be running it through. So all eyes back up here to the starter stand. Paying it across. And here we are. Quick breeze. A quick breeze. Chad goes for Harry Belanche. Go, go, girl power. He's up here into the cloud, but it looks like it's going to be. Jan we'll see when they come down around here. Here they come, lap number one. for the pro and women. 574, Haley Meloge for the compound. Good nail Marine and Bailey Motorsports. Title one, Dakota Cargolis. Only on to second place. And Shan Gosling from Capas, Casey. Up here at the finish line. the Dakota's is off. 20 feet before the line. Haley Meloge will grab the win. Shan Gosling. Cruises across, and we're talking, wow, that may have been down to five feet, five feet before the transponder line. Dakota Carcolis will finish up here in third spot. CSRA. This vehicle is right here. So this is the driver's door here. Sure, let's take a look inside. Okay, this is the UTV inside. This is going to be the view. This is the oh, it's kind of cool. There's the steering wheel. Pretty slick. Got all the safety gear in here. Helm is kind of cool. Fuck this. This thing's pretty rugged, rugged, man. Pretty awesome. Kick-ass tires on there. Lots of grip on those things. Looks nice and sh grommet. You want one? You want one? <laughs> Lots of shiny tires. That is pretty sweet. Okay, Melissa, you want to pose in there? Melissa's part of Tom's uh, road crew. Him and his daughters. And you know how much money this costs him? <laughs> A lot of money. <laughs> So far, one year in, 70 grand. I can't wait to see this thing moving around. Okay, you guys probably seen this, but look at this thing. Man, it's massive, huge 35 inch clearance on this thing. That's a sweet machine. Call that a side by side. I guess there's room for a passenger, eh? Even got a mirror on this. Maybe not be a mirror though. Okay, so what do we got here? Inside there. Oh, it's nice. Okay, that's grip there. It's coming all the way out here. Hands on. Those are some massive. Like that's that's a full flangey. Massive grill on it. Looks mean. Think all the way around. Massive push bar. Come on, grab it. Go around this side here. Look at the front end grill on that. Look at it go right over top. That's some. That's an amazing, sweet piece of machine. This is an amazing race, and UTV is gonna be, this is gonna be way better than snowmobile racing. Just prepping the track for the finals here at the CSRA. Kitchener, 
before we get to the UTV racing. This stuff I think is going to take over. These are sweet machines. It's a nice family sport. These guys came down from Kappa's Casing. There's about 24 racers uh, this year, and there's only 12 last year. There's some racers getting ready to go there. Quickly, there's a quick lane light. 100, Trey Duran. Trey drops the whole shot. He's jumping the inside. 10 to 15 year olds are off. The inside next corner. Two side by side, it looks like we have a lead change! Jake doubles it, easily making a pass! Can't put the power on, gets some huge air in the Mojo final corner. Green flag is there, green flag, make it official! 10 to 15 year olds! Money moved up front, Trey Durant dropping down to second place. Tournament horse size, still in third! Holding on to fourth place. Here's the junior 10 to 15 class. Singing out of my Start on a rainy day. And me and my rain suit <laughs> at a ski hill for a snowmobile event. What a weird world we live in, but it's amazing. It's awesome. All the way to the start of this is the pro roll at number two. Pro roll at number two. The sun came out for them. This is going to be a great angle right here. We're going to be seeing stuff coming right at us. Drown, are you having fun? Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good, buddy. This might even be more exciting than downhill ski racing. Five wide there. Here we come again. This guy's a half a lap back. Check it by coming out once again. Number 459, Jake Wheel. Coming in for the checker play. I think that guy was the winner. Second, third, and fourth. I'm coming in to the Royal Walkers. Number one, Cameron Walker. One hit, second. Hey, 
often wonder why I do what I do. First of all, we're in yellow, okay? I'm just blending in with the crowd. Crown one take me to the girls' bathroom. <sighs> why do I do what I do? Because I have a guide dog and <clears throat> I've had two beers. Uh, and a Caesar, I guess, if you're counting. But I think going out, because he took me to a table, then he took me over there. See, I can look backwards when I'm walking because I got the guide dog looking forwards. He's going to take me the door out. He's going to do a much better job. He doesn't know where I want to go. Now he knows where I want to go because I want to find the door out. So he's doing good, right? I hope. No, not the bar, girl. I'm at the door out. Yeah, the door out. <laughs> Oops. I think I trained him too well. Door out. Stop. Go. Now I gotta watch out for these people. Gromit, don't do that. I hate when he stops to sniff and pick up french fries and stuff. Oh, life of the guide dog, I tell ya. Find your spot, Gromit, go. Oops, sorry. It's full contact. Here comes the UTVs getting ready for their main event here at the CSR Racing. After the Pro Class snowmobiles are done. Last final for the CSR A here at Chicopee. It's been a good day of racing so far. That's Gromit hard at work here. I'm trying to catch a couple Z's before he's gotta move me somewhere. Chicken B, the CSRA down here, Chicken B, and the Crazy Canuck. I can't believe they got Crazy Canuck beers. Cheers. Like there's a lot of stuff that goes into this from the prep of the hill to the machines all year to the families that got to travel the money that goes into it the thrill of just a few minutes on course these guys are loving life right now living for the moment this is because I can't watch but you know what if I could watch I'd want to do this because I don't like watching people do stuff that I can do we gotta start a blind snowmobile racing club <laughs> I was here a couple years ago for Gromit and I's first 25 obstacle rugged mania race. Of course, I'd like to suggest after Gromit went through and pooped, it was 26 obstacles. It took us a lot longer, like an hour and a half to get around. These guys are doing it in a minute. I 
I hear side by side, but it's not side by side racing yet. Sure wish I could hear the announcers. Sounds like a bunch of African killer bees to me. That sounded cool. Like way ahead of everybody else. I wish I could hear that announcer. I think this guy's the winner right here. Just right about now, I have no idea what's going on. It's all over the track. Sounds exciting. Sure, it's pretty thrilling. I have no idea how many laps this is either. I'm sure that's absolutely a, a lot of fun. One more lap. <laughs> Best blind announcer ever. Let's last lap. White flag is out. What the hell just happened? That was fun though. A lot of fun. Can't wait to see the UTVs coming up right next year on CSRA. Chickapee. This is really cool. I'm helping uh, Melissa. I'm helping Melissa. She's live on Facebook right now. You're not going to know this now, but join this feed right now if you could go back three days and join this feed because it's really exciting out here at Chickapee CSRA. It's really exciting out here. Looking at North 49, 357 is the guy we're cheering for, Tom. They're nowhere near as loud either. You'll be able to hear him. He has <laughs> what a great song for this. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is going to be the greatest sport ever. You'll be, like I said, his noise is different than the other side by sides. You'll hear him coming. So typically they say after the snowmobilers are done, they, everybody leaves, but this area got a lot fuller because honestly, I think everybody's going to realize this is going to be the coolest sport ever. These guys are going to fly. These guys are just going to jump. Jump. Oh. 
they got to have a better term than side by sides because I mean SBS is okay, UT, UTVs is pretty good, but yeah. side by side, there's got to be something better for these guys. So bad. Yeah, 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 I get it. And I understand like um, Tom was telling me they do like 12 hour races in the summer and stuff like that. So these are all terrain vehicles, they're not just winter. Like, this is going to be great, they can do it all the time. They're beasts, they're beasts of machine, man. They're fantastic. I can't wait to see these things fly. Okay, so you're telling me, like, out here somewhere, yeah, the guy, straightforward. the guy who usually pulls people out when they're stuck, yeah. is stuck. Is stuck. Yeah. <laughs> so they got to get the guy who pulls people out from being stuck, unstuck, so he can pull people out when they're stuck. Yeah. All right. And right now we got a couple side by sides, side by side. We got 12 of them out there. And last year there was only like 12 in the field. Now there's like 24 or so. Well, last race was 28. Last race was 28. And last year there was only 12 racers. Like this is expanding fast. come down it's loud here comes Ontario 49 357 and he's the loudest shakes when he goes by. But I bet they're having fun. If I'm correct, that's Ontario 49, 357 right there. Shake when he goes by. I almost forgot there's music. You couldn't hear the music when those guys are going by. And my mistake, it's North 49. Just lining up here for the UTVs here at CSRA Kitchener. Kitchener! It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. This is a debut here at Kitchener. Are coming out for heat number one of the thousand turbo class. One thousand Kawasaki engine. They don't sound like motorcycles out there. Our guy North 49 357 is not on the course, but he will be out here for several going forward. First heat. Here with the UTVs at CSRA Kitchener. The four seater is the limousine. They're going to come down for their first pass. This is the first heat. Most of them are two seaters, but there is a four seater, the limousine. Oh yeah. The snowmobile sound like you're going faster, eh? These guys are working hard, but they don't sound like you're really revving at full speed. It's pretty exciting when they come through this little Baja section. Crap, something just happened. <laughs> oh, T-Bone, shit.
Last time I came through here, seeing this place was a little bit busy, right? Because everybody's outside watching these guys. This UTV racing is amazing. Okay, go on, go. I'm going to confuse him because he's going to go find the door. And he's going to do a good job. But this time, I want the bar. <laughs> the bar grab it. <laughs> yeah, for it. For it. All right, boy. Your son is with the, uh, the UTV racing? Yes, my son's with UTV. And what's his name? Gavin Casey. And what number? 182. And how old is he? 39. Hey, well, 39, your son. Yeah. So you're not 40? I thought you were only 40. I thought you were young oh, like me. Thank you. Oh, I'm, 50, thank you. I'm 52. Where are you guys from? Waterloo. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. me too. So you guys are in Barrie next weekend? Barrie next and weekend. And this is his first winter racing. First winter racing. So yes. he got in in the summer because this is summer and winter right as well? summer. Yeah. And you like it? Oh, Loves it. it. So is he still asking you for money for racing? Nope. No. No. Hasn't wow. asked me for a dime. He's really? Because I have heard seventy grand to get started. Yeah. 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 Summer racing, uh, we actually get to go in the car with him. Yeah, really? We went in the yeah. races last year with him. Okay, yeah. so it's a two seater. It's yeah. a two seater, you buckle up yeah. and hold on to whatever the good Lord gave you. <laughs> yeah. So any suggestions for a better name than side by side? Or maybe that'll just catch on, I don't know. But SBS or SBS would be UTV, better. UTV, I don't know, UTV. I don't know. Because it's two more exciting. Two. People are cheering out there. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Incredible. The people it's, are more excited now. It's than getting cold, though, eh? It's getting cold. It's getting cold, but hey, only the good will stay out there. My name is Ken Roach. I'm a massage therapist. I'm also a, I, I also do stand-up comedy at a place called Crazy Canuck. They got the Crazy Canuck beer down here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you guys get, you ever gone to the Crazy Canuck? Uh, restaurant, yes. Yes. Yep. They got great the food. But they also have uh, good comedy, so if you get a uh, chance, go down and check it out. They do like four or five we'll shows a week now. And it was nice to meet you. I'm going to give you a nice phone just in case you call. I'm Roger. Whatever. This nice is Nancy. Meet, really nice Nancy. to meet you all. Take care, guys. Thank you very much. Looks like we're getting ready to start here. Number one fan down here in the bleachers. Young guy cheering everybody on. That's just like watching a, like a, a spaceship launch in Houston. That's loud. <laughs> I guess his race is done there. Here they come. They're coming down to Apple Bowl. Let's go to Apple Bowl. I skied this hill very many times. I've never done this. Here we come around here. Chickaby doesn't see a lot of his uphill ski racing. Each heat is about five laps. Uh, these are four laps. Four laps. Okay, so that was number one. Here they come down for number two. Cheer for our boy, North 49, 357. It's getting loud! How's your man doing? Fifth place! How many are out there? It's not looking good, Tom! Let's go, Tom! I look forward to having some interviews with him. Like, what's going on, Tom? Why are you in fifth? I'm sure he's not happy about it. Third race. This is only a third race night. There's always a lot to learn, especially on the third night. He's got off to some really good success. He's had a couple firsts, a couple seconds. 
But this is where it's really working. He's in for the season now. have a bit of an advantage over him, so this may not be his field. He's probably going to do better in, uh, in the stock class. The stock, yeah. These guys have a bit of a, like a horsepower advantage. He's only got like 145 horse. Yeah. And some of these guys have like 700, I think. So you have a lot more, yes. <laughs> I don't know how much, but... Oh. He made it to fourth. He's moving up, folks. Our guys, North 49, 357, he's moved up to fourth. He's the loudest one out there. That's him right there, 357. Oh, that's over. So we got uh, Melissa's my co-host. She's live on Facebook. Of course, I'm not live because, well, I mean, I'm alive. But uh, we only got three going up on this uh, four, laps? Uh, yeah, four laps. Probably four laps heat. Tom and on North 49, 357. Pretty proud of the machine. Third race night out. There's a lot of people expanding. There's only 12 people last year, and there's like 24, 28. I think you said there was 28 in your last uh, race last time. Yeah, we were I was talking to a family inside whether I recorded that or not, and I don't know, but uh, they just joined from Waterloo, so it's joined, it's big and all over the place. It's pretty exciting. If they can get off the line, they can get rolling. Snow is pretty soft, but it's starting to firm up as we get into nighttime racing, which they've never done. These guys have never raced at night, right? No, not this So it's a new experience. Not this night, no. Under the lights? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to get used to being under the lights. I think they're going to be pretty famous in time. Been a long time coming, but I guess we're gonna get the groomer out of the way. We had a few bikes that were stuck. You call them bikes, right? Yep. There you go. That's probably cooler than S they're side by side. Snow bikes! I don't know, they're all terrain bikes. Gucci bikes. Looks like we're getting ready to go here, folks, for heat number three. It's a different category. Our boy North 49, 357's in there. Anxious to go. Race is all about hurry up and wait. Them up a little higher up. Okay, here we go, here we go. They've, they're encouraging us by moving them three feet. It looks like six bikes are already out. And we've only had two heats. One blew a belt, a couple got stuck. Got soft snow, but it's gonna get firmer as we go here. Let's go, race day! I've skied a lot of Chicopee here and I know it's going to get harder as the night goes on. Temperatures drop and it's going to get firmer down here. I see there is a lot of downsides to this race because these guys do get stuck. Snowmobiles don't get stuck. <laughs> but this is so much more fun. Here we come down for lap number one of four. second place okay so I heard another guy rumble by after him yeah. but you don't hear much when 357 goes by no. but this is what it's all about for these guys out here right now they're just they're just loving every corner every bump 
Wow, he took over the first place. He took over first. Oh, he's loving this now. Nothing but clean snow in front of him. Here comes 357, North 49. Leading the pack. North 49. So this is his class. This is the, the stock class. Another turbo. Yeah, Well, maybe he made a couple of adjustments because he he's got digital controls for his uh, suspension. So the first time around, maybe he made a couple of adjustments, learned the track a little bit. Whatever he's doing is working well for him. Coming down third lap through. To the Baja section. Probably one of the most fun parts of the course. Oh, come on, Tom, hold it, hold it at the line! Tom was saying he had some pretty good advantages in the hills, like in the, in the bumps, but in the straightaways is where he loses it a little bit, so he's trying to improve on that tonight. And this is where you can't see what he's doing, right? No, we can't see at all. Yeah, yeah, so you never know until he comes out there how he's yeah. doing. See, we're seeing some lights right now. He's still in cars, but the one is passing. But you can certainly hear him up there. Yeah, he got stuck up. Yeah, he got stuck. Oh, shit. He's in third now. Oh, no. Yeah. That's what I hate about racing, but listen to these people cheering down here. Say again? Story 49 is way behind here at this point. He's got a lot of ground to make up. This is uh, Chicopee Silver Lounge. It's, it's really nice. <clears throat> this is, uh, Grom hasn't been here for a long time. I haven't been here for a long time. I'm dressed with rain. I'm not dressed with snow. And I didn't expect to go this late. I don't think anybody did. And it's getting pretty cold out there. But I'll tell you, it's a really nice lounge in here. It's, it's beautiful. I, I love Chicopee, the ski, all of the experience. Grom was waiting for his snack. He's like, where's my snack? I'm a union dog. And it's 8.35, Kenny. I'm supposed to be getting paid from 8.30. Look at this. There ain't nobody. Nobody in the stands. Nobody at the bar. Everybody's inside. I see a little bit of problems with these guys racing. It's a little bit problematic. They turn over too much. They're like turtles. They're, they're stuck in the snow too much. But it's phenomenal racing. They just got to figure out a couple issues. It's phenomenal racing. It's really cool. And they're, they're amazing machines. And it's exciting. We're lined up, ready to go for another round here. I don't even know if 357 is in there. I have no idea. But I know they're excited. Whoever's lined up there is excited to get going. They can't wait to get going because they've been waiting all day for this. Sounds like somebody's way behind over there. It sounds like the original announcer kind of bailed as well. Once it went dark, maybe Union guy quit and went home. The only announcer out here is a blind ex-ski racer who loves this hill. Here they're coming down here for lap number one. I have no idea if they're doing four laps, five laps. You're going to see their headlights going bop, bop, bop as they go pop, pop, pop. 
These guys are living for this. They got seventy to hundred thousand dollars invested into a couple of races a year, people. Here they come through. CSRA Chicopee. Sounds like we got a couple in front. We got a few that are far behind. Sounds like 357. That's got to be 357. He's trailing. I'm sure he's not happy about it. He's trying to make up some ground as he goes uphill. Who knows what goes on behind the trees up there. He's done well in the past up there. He's, uh, he's made up some ground up there. And I'm sure he's not pulling any stops. He's got the suspension. You see how it's working out. We'll find out later. Here they come down. Coming down Apple Bowl. Coming across the bottom here through the Baja. Let's see if 357's made up any ground here. It sounds like maybe Tom, the guy who owns the CSRA, is in front. Doing quite well there. Still got a good lead on the people in the back. Here comes the guys in the back. They're still quite a ways back, actually. Got a long ways to go. Sounds like 357 still in the back. He still shudders the grandstands as he goes by. But it looks like he's falling a little bit further behind. But look at him fly through there. He's way ahead now. He's got tons of room to move. He's already heading up the hill. These guys are just coming through the Baja. There's number two. Here comes number three. It looks like 357 is far in the back now. He's way back. Ooh, I wonder what's going on with Tom. We're still waiting for 357 to come through. Something happened with 357 on that last lap. He's lost a lot of ground here. Heading back up the hill. Here comes the winner. I don't know how many laps they're doing, but this guy's like flying ahead. He's at least a half a lap ahead. He's just bogging through there. Boom, 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 boom. Putting on a clinic. Here comes number two. Number two's coming through here. He doesn't seem to have too much trouble either. And I got time to show you a 357. No doubt that's 357. North 49, for whatever reason, he has some issues. He was really doing really well in his second heat out. But his third showing looks like he's struggling through here. Working a few things out. Maybe taking a little bit more conservatively. And got it up the hill. He's got a lot of time to make up there. I guess that's over for those guys. I guess that's it for him. We'll wait to see what happened with him. No doubt there's a story behind this. I think 357 is lining up again. You can smell the race field out here. It's starting to smell like a stock car racetrack. I spent a lot of time around Sobble Speedway. I'm very familiar with the smell of race car fuel. Looks like we're getting ready for another lap here. I'm sure these guys will do whatever they can get done because they spent a lot of time, a lot of money. That 357 from North 49 drove 14 hours to get down here from Capus Caves. I exaggerate, he sped. Did it in 11 hours. Crap, I missed it! There they go again! I told you they were gonna get itching to get this running. They had 12 UTVs getting started. This sounds like there's only like well, six that are left. Out of eight, uh, eight of the turbos, I think there's only like three or four that are left. There's no announcers out here anymore. There's nobody here anymore. It's just the racers. And you. And me. Here they come through the Baja section. 357's got a lot to make up for. He's got a lot to prove here to himself. His sponsors and his fans. Looks like he's still behind. Whoever that guy is, is the arch enemy. Number two there, 357 still in the back. Maybe he's putting out a little bit too much energy in his exhaust. But he's giving her all he's got. It's only his third race out, first season. He's got a lot to learn. 
Under the lights here at Chicopee, CSRA. Coming down an apple bowl, coming around the chair there, through the Baja section. That guy seems to be having no problems at all. It sounds like 357's actually made a little bit of ground up there. It sounds like he's a little bit closer there. They're going up the north. They're gonna zag over to the right going up Micmac. Micmac here at Chicopee. I've come down there many times. But they're going up, 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 and away! Going across the top there. I've been up there where they're at right now. The top of Apple come down. It's a beautiful hill right there. There was a tabletop jump that I come down there a couple times. <laughs> I'll tell you about that another day. Here they come across. Did I say it was lap number three or four? I don't remember. I don't know how far they're going. There's only three of them now. Through the Baja section. That guy's been flying tonight. Having a good night. Number two, looks like 357 is a little bit further behind that lap. Oh, two, here he goes. But he's still giving her. And out of like 12 or 18 competitors, we're down to only like six. And he's still one of them. So he's doing the long, hard grind, all the hard work. And it's still working out for him. Here they're coming around again. He's still very much in the race. A lot of people have been broken down and he's still doing the UTV thing. He's still hot in pursuit. That sounds like that might have been a win for him. Oh, he's heading back up. Here comes the other Two guys, it looks like he's getting close. The 357 might have got a lot closer on that. Actually, that looks like a win. That looks like a finish on that lap. So it sounds like there's a diesel out there and he's got like air brakes and the whole deal. That's the limousine. His name's Tom? Yep, Tom and he, Bennett. And Tom Bennett. And Tom Bennett, he owns CSRA? No. <laughs> no. no. The, the guy that owns CSRA. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ken owns CSRA, coincidentally. My name is Ken, by the way. Did, was Ken in the last race? No, it was Tom and another guy. Okay, so I guess 357 is done for the night. That was one of his finals. Look forward to seeing how that turned out for him. But I don't think the night is over. It looks like some other people are lining up here. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really... The announcer is done. They're done with the... You know, they might have still the music going, but the announcer is done. Like, I'm not getting any feedback from any of these people at all. I'd like to know what's going on with the CSRA thing, because I there's still racing going on. I paid for a full day ticket. I would like accessibility. I want to know what's going on. Where's the announcers? These people are dragging me away. I got one more race. I'd like to see. I see what's going on. I came for the whole day. I paid for the race, you know. Right, 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 right. <laughs> One more time around, if they can get it going. What's that? Because this is going to be another feature. There's like five of them lined up, because now they're getting down to serious. It's like, okay, we're not going to put up with the bullshit of the rules, and we're not going to clean the track anymore. They like, line up, let's fucking race. Mind my language. But I was a downhill ski racer, and I get it! Here we go! Woo! CSRA down here at Chicopee! Up north! We're gonna go right over on Micmac. We're going wrong way on the one way downhill ski racing uphill. There's five of them in this race. I don't know who's in this race. I don't even know what's going on. Lights are on, but I'm blind. Coming through the Baja section. UTV CSRA. A uh, woohoo woohoo! 35 inch suspensions on whatever that truck is running. Sounds like they're running pretty tight. Sounds like they're pretty tight going up the hill. These guys are in it for them. They don't care about nothing but the moment. There's no spectators, there's no announcers, there's no music. It's just them and the snow. Here comes the sad guy in the back. But you know what? He's giving it. 
that was me, totally blind guy, running third place out of three, but still happy to be participating. He's still out there on the course. Here they coming down for lap number two. Down through the Baja section, you can probably see their headlights popping up and down like popcorn. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Ripping through there, they're getting less problems, they're getting firmer on the course. Looks like they're spreading out a little bit. That guy's, ooh, laying a little bit. I heard there was five, it sounds like there's three right now. This guy in the back's probably getting lapped if he's still on the course. Nobody's doing this for glory anymore. They're doing it for personal perseverance, for the sport. <laughs> when can you get a track to yourself? You know, when you pay $100,000 and a couple hundred bucks to participate in an event, you get an event to yourself. Here they go. These guys are just out here racing because they're a bunch of kids, a bunch of adult kids having a great time in their UTVs, racing with a CSRA a sanctioned event, and which means it's going to be safe. There's other competitors, other people just as crazy. You, they'll drive anywhere from 6 to 12 hours to come and participate and hang out with you. doesn't matter if you're winning or losing. We're all having a good time. Going across the top, coming down Apple Bowl. Here at Chicopee, I know it quite well as a totally blind downhill ski racer. These guys are doing laps like I couldn't imagine how fast that is. I've done circles down that, not on purpose sometimes. Coming through the bottom here, around the chair lift, to coming through the Baja section. It took me five minutes to skate across there. They're going to do it in about 15 seconds. Here they go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Up, down, up, down, like popcorn. Boom, boom, boom. Next guy through. Boom, boom, boom. That looks like a finish. That was definitely a finish. That was a first place finish. Are you guys excited? I'm sure he's pretty excited to get that race underway. That looks like a second place guy right there. And we got a third place. Anybody check out the numbers on these guys? Eh, it sounds like that guy's going back up for another lap. Maybe a victory lap for number two. Apparently this guy over here on the right stuck. We got somebody else here maybe in the front that's stuck. They get stuck. This guy's going for victory lap number two. Now I understand what's going on. Number two is just happy to be out there running around. He's like, I made it, guys. I didn't get stuck. I think we should give him a standing ovation. You know what? I'm standing. I'm evading. Woo! -hoo! Good on you to finish. His sponsors should be proud. I think the night is done, folks. It was a lot of fun bringing this to you. Live from the CSRA event here at Chicopee Ski Hill. I had a lot of fun. I don't know where Grommet's at. He probably left an hour ago. A lot of fun watching these UTV guys race. I think there's a lot of future in this sport. I don't know what you can see, but there's a ton of transport trucks and trucks and trailers and stuff around here. People that made the journey down here to Kitchener CSRA. It was a lot of fun. It's uh. Too bad it's so late, and uh, you know the, the snow was really heavy with the rain and the sun, and then the late night. But racing's racing. Okay, so I was just saying to Tom, I didn't want to talk to him until we got on camera because I had my own experience and you had your own experience, right? Oh yes. And I'm, I'm sure it was a thrilling experience. It's always better to participate than to watch people participate. But you got a lot of great fans. Oh yeah. Melissa was on the camera. She was out there, pretty dedicated. Yep. She had like up to 11 fans up in Capus Case, and that's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. I think it was awesome. And from your perspective, this is the first time you raced at night. Yep. And the first time on a ski hill. Yeah. You're, 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 you're racing uphill. Did you notice there was a one-way sign going the other way? Pretty much. <laughs> Probably a lot of guys would say the same thing, right? Because how many, how many cars did you start with tonight? Uh, there was 18 of us total that started. And how many actually finished everything? Uh, All their heats and, and their fi finals, like not many. Like, six of them. I'd say maybe six. Six yeah, okay. in the turbo that raced and then... And then they all that, but No, there was only uh, three of them yeah, that finished. Yeah. Okay, so that. three of them that finished. And then two in the... St 
So yeah, only five but, total cars. Yeah. Like, out of 18 cars, yeah. only five actually finished. Yep. Yeah. And then that's phenomenal because that's part of the race is just, you know, in, in, in downhill ski racing, they always said you must first finish before you can finish first. Yeah. Right? You got to finish the race. Oh, that's what it was. So what do you got? I got a silver medal, second place. Which is pretty cool because like, like I can't see, so I'm listening, right? And I was I was announcing, I'm like, it sounds like you're, you're struggling because you're behind. Yep. And there wasn't too many people there. Was there two or three? Was there three even? At the end, it was just us two. It was we're the only two that made it to the final heat. See, that's stock. phenomenal. Like that, that, but part of it is endurance to finish. Oh, that's what it is. And maybe it's not so much your speed as it is your tires, your suspension, your ability to get the car started. Because a lot of guys got stuck. Everybody was. And the guy who got everybody unstuck got stuck. Exactly. <laughs> so what'd you think of it? Oh, it was awesome. It yeah. Was, uh, amazing experience because you did really well in your second run out yeah yeah the second one was stock it's hard to go against turbo but my first one i still placed fourth out of six so it still wasn't that bad for turbos i did pretty good in stock like you know i took a what was it i took third in stock you were ahead for a while though yes and then like uh, a lap or two like in the middle two i i passed them off the first lap and then two laps i was first and then uh on my last final lap just before the finishing line uh, the, i took the corner a little too hot so i took it wide and that's when they passed me all on the inside they took you on the inside yeah because i was in you know four feet of snow and they were uh, in, uh, yeah you got off the beaten track yeah okay so was that at the bottom uh, it was halfway down. Halfway to, down. Yeah. See, okay, so I'm familiar with that hill. Like you're going up what I would call north. Yeah. And then you cut to the right. That's yep. going up McMahon. You go like you go like a zigzag up the hill. Yep. It's it, it's boggly coming down. So I imagine there's a big bomb going up. Yeah. And then you go across the top. There's a little bit of a bush. Yeah. We went to where the second post is, and then you turn. We turned left. And went back uphill. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. And yeah. then we come down on the outside. In, on the out on the outside side. of the chairlift there. Because yeah. right? okay. Okay. Yeah. See, that that's a pretty Pretty wide open area there's a little bit of an island of trees and that but there's a big wide open area that's a nice consistent hill coming down uh, it, yeah but them it's they had the uh, jumps they had jumps coming down too yeah. eh? how many uh there was two good ones like really uh, really uh, hard hitting good ones especially because you're coming down yeah like you go up and then you come bang down yeah. hard that's when you need your suspension yeah because when you're jumping uphill the hill joins you uphill yeah and it's not so bad because so you're in the air like five, ten feet, and then the, the ground joins you. Yep. But this, when you launch off, you're well, off the side of the planet. And that's the thing too is they had really deep snow, like three and a half feet in there, like, like everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it was slop. It was there was a yeah, lot of rain was, today. It softened it up. Like the rain played a big part in it, and that's why a lot of uh, side by sides didn't make it. Like there's a lot of them that blue belts. A lot of them didn't finish. Cause... But you said that was going to be an issue with the uh, the turbos because yeah. they blow belts. Yeah. And then that's part of the benefit of not having the turbo. You're not yeah. interested in doing that because you're going to blow a belt. And you're about durability. You're about making sure you finish the race and you get medals. Exactly. What did you get? What did you get? I got a silver medal. So you went to work today and you got a medal. Yeah. For somebody. Yeah. For yourself, for your sponsor. Yeah. North, North 49. 49 Power Sports, yep. Thanks for taking me out, man. No problem. A lot of fun. I got to meet Ken, the yep. uh, CSR guy. He's the owner. Yeah, yeah. He offered to sell it to me. <laughs> yeah. He seems like a nice guy, and he's leading by example, too. I, I imagine oh, he yeah. raced snowmobile. I'm just sorry. Is my camera yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. My name, well, my name is Ken. Did you go? I was name's what? My name is Ken. I'm, my name is Ken too, buddy. Really? Oh, do you own CSRA? I do, actually. Okay, cool. Someone's got to run the you can Yeah, someone's got to run the show. But if you want to take I'll her over, you're the same name. No, I'll, no give you I'll tell you, I was a totally blind downhill ski racer here at Chicken. Okay, right, right on. On the Ontario and same race. I yeah. have a lot of respect for racing. And this is a tough race. Yeah. You guys started with like 12 people tonight and you ended up with like we, six. We were down to, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, we lost it. Then the a pressure. lot of you, because snow, a lot of stuff. Snow. Yeah, you know, we had all the rain today and the snow went to the crap on us. And, the, and these things aren't good to go in two feet of snow. They're good for six inches. Yeah. You can really rip around on them, but this, yeah. is, this is like, who can get through the crap, right? Who was and, uh, the one that was uh, finished second but went around for his victory lap anyways? Because he was the only one lap running. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure who that was. That wasn't <laughs> me. How'd you but do was, tonight? 
I just won the last Turbo Class, so that was that was a big race today. So I pulled that one off. So, that was so I'm here supporting uh, number 357 from Capus Case. Right on. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, 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 I appreciate really the, enthusiastic. I appreciate the drive these guys make to come this oh, far. Incredible. You know. And you guys had like 12 racers last year, and you had like 24, 28. Yeah, racers. we had, we had, yeah 20. We had 21 in the Turbo Class. So the despite class, issues like this, like these guys are out here when there's no announcer, there's no one music. We don't guys care. Racing we're racing we're, we're having fun, man. When can so, you get a track like this to run on, anyways, by yourself? That's anyways, right, yeah, right? that's it, yeah. It, like we, it should have been a compacted, more, a better show, you know, that was close to spectators, but just the track went for the shit, something was getting stuck. But it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And you know, I'll tell you, like, I was here for a couple of hours before the event, yeah, yeah. and uh, nobody cheered for the snowmobilers like they cheered for you oh, in the I first know. couple of yeah. events. Yeah, they like this the is chaos, right? Yeah, the chaos, yeah. the T-bone, the rollovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Ken. All right, buddy. My name is Ken. Yeah. Well. All right, Ken. So, thank Take you care. so much for talking to you. Thanks for coming back and supporting you, man. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, hopefully you can't see anything because I found myself a little sound booth inside the uh, outhouse here at Chicopee. I'm just going to sign off here. Nice to talk to Ken from CSRA and uh, all the support for all these people here. It was a lot of fun. And I'd like to thank uh, Crazy Canuck for the beer while I was here. Cheers.